Hey y'all, it's Taryn with Sewing the City. <laughs> and you can see I am all wrapped up because it is very cold out here. But nonetheless, welcome to day five of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm just gonna give you a quick update on the uh, grow back section of my garden. You know, I just don't think I need to do a whole garden like tour because it's cold outside as you can see and there's honestly not too much going on. I think I might put the garden to bed soon but there is some things going on in the garden in the grow bag section so we can go ahead and take a look at that. Okay y'all look at this grow bag section. So I could tell you right now that when it's time for spring to come around I will definitely have to cover up like some of the tarp. I don't want this tarp to just be out here like that. I'll probably cover it up with mulch. Nonetheless this is what we have so far and you could see that I have some uh, you know there's always noise in the background y'all. You hear that dog? <laughs> But you can see here that I have some cabbages, like an entire row pretty much of cabbages. At least from um, that bench to down here is cabbages. It's pretty much a mixture of um, green and purple. Uh, of course, this is the green cabbages. And of course, sometimes I do overseed because you can see there's a, like two cabbages I think per grow bag and that may or may not be the best decision just because you know cabbages can get quite large the plant so it, it might need um, some more space but it's doing well so far and of course we don't actually have anything you know any uh fruit within the actual cabbage plant yet it's a little too early for that but they are growing and then over here you can see that I have some onions that are continuing to grow. This is a mixture of yellow and um, red. Now they are still in its early stages. Um, you know there's no bulbs yet. But they are still growing and I'm very happy about that. Now I'm going to keep walking. And you know, I don't know how this happens. Okay, sometimes you get some, some, some plants growing from the bottom or the side of the grow bag it is the strangest thing i just you know nature finds a way okay that is not doing as well um you know it's still so small so this could be a mixture of reasons um mainly just not fertilizing it enough or the soil is too compact um you know i may need to amend the soil so that it can give the roots room to grow it it might be a number a number of things but i'll address that um maybe when it's closer to spring same thing with this one here it's still quite small these are a decent size uh but still a little bit small for my liking this is a pretty good size and I think this is broccoli. Or maybe it's cauliflower. Y'all know I'm not the best at labeling. Okay? I don't I don't even think that label is, is accurate. I think that's just from another past season. <laughs> this is purple cabbage. Look at how pretty this is. It's taking a while to grow, but it's trying to grow. And of course, I need to check it for pests. You see that? It's trying to get eaten by some pests. And of course, this is the broccoli. You have this broccoli and you have that one. Again, some of these are very small while others have gotten larger. So it could be a mixture of not fertilizing enough and or um, the soil. Okay, y'all, so that was the video. Just a little tour of the grow bag section right here. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. And like I said, I will be making not a lot of changes, but just a few changes to this section when the spring and the summertime comes. But for right now, it looks pretty good. And I'm proud of what we have going on right now, considering the fact that it's so cold out here. Anyway, that was day five of Lochmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, don't forget, no matter what you're going through, remember, just keep sewing.